cellos, Colors of the Wind, lesson number one. We're gonna be working 26 to 39. Ignore the back of the wall. Although we are gonna be using these extensions, using our fourth finger on this song. I wanna remind you how to do an extension. An extension, a forward extension, is when you set your second finger on the third, quote unquote, third finger tape, and your fourth finger stretches to that in-between spot um, past what is normally the fourth finger tape. In, in Colors of the Wind, starting at 26, you need to start by putting your second finger in that extended position on the G and the D string. The only string you're not going to be using an extension on is the A string. Now there are um, times when you might no, there aren't. You actually do have to extend on the D string, the G string, and the C string the whole time. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with measure 26. Watch me first. I'm going to go two on the B, two, two, one, two, one, two. Let's do it together. This is 26. Ready and play. Two, two, one, two, one, two, open. So that's how you play measure 26. Take a look at 28. 28, we're going to start on the A string, one finger, cross with the two extended, open D extended, four, four, two, two, just like we did before, one, two, extension, F sharp. You got to stay here the entire time. Let's do that measure again. This is measure 28. Ready? Go. One, two, open, extend, four, two, two, one, two, extend, four, extend, four, two, F sharp, open, A. This is a really big stretch for the hand. Remember one thing about extensions you can remember is setting your fingers up on that higher note, the extended notes, the two and four, just reach back with the first finger by straightening it slightly, okay? Let's go ahead and play measure 26 through 29. Nice and slow, starting with second finger. Ready, go. Two, two, one, two, one, two, two, open, one, four, four, regular position, one, extend, 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 two on the F sharp. Good. So work carefully on that. You could stop the video now if you want to zone in there. Otherwise, we're going to now start at measure 30. Again, you're still in, a, in extension mode. Here we go. Measure 30 starting on open G. Ready? Here we go now. Open G. One. Three. That's fine. Extension. Extension two. So the C sharp, we didn't extend on the A string. We, we kept it regular, but man, once we get down to those low notes, we make sure to create an extension. And I don't know about you, but this finger for me is the best vibrato. So it actually helps. We're able to find spots to use that finger to vibrato. Starting again at measure 30, open G. Ready, play. One, three, extension four, open, four, two. And of course, when you get to the next measure, it's a whole note. It's gotta be a super slow bow. Super slow bow. Now at 
measure 34, there's a divisi. Remember, divisis are when you divide within your section. Somebody takes the high note, somebody takes the low note. Finally, let's get all the way to 39 and let's, well, let's start at 35 and get there. Here we go. Now, 35 and 36, you don't have to worry about extensions. So don't worry about them. 37, you have to worry about the extension in the last two notes of measure 38. So there you do have to do it. You really have to be strategic about when you're using those. So let's play 35 and 36 without any extensions. Ready? Play. One, one, open, one, three, open, four. That again, ready, same thing, smooth as can be. And now 37 and 38, just piecing it out here. This is an up bow start on the end of beat one. So I'll give you three and four and, and make sure you extend the last two or I should say the last note of the measure plus the first note of the next measure. Three and four and one and two and three and four. Extend one hits. Whoops. Sorry. Do just measures 37 and 38 landing on the first note of 38, but don't keep going. Three, and a bow, four, and a one, and two, and three, and up, extend, two. And finally, let's go ahead and practice. You're gonna bow, then holding the bow in, for me, in the bow hold formation. You'll go ahead and pull. Let's practice that. Up bow on that measure 38. Here we go. Up, hits. No extension. No need to. Let's put it all together. Now, I'm not the greatest cellist, so my hope is that you're even better than me. All right? We're going to take it slow to start. One and two Measure 26, here we go. One, one and two. Extend. again. It's getting so dark in here. I can't see my music. Closer, Miss Seymour's. Can we do it again? Is that okay? Like I said, hopefully you're better than me. I'm getting good at, this is my third year teaching eighth grade, so you gotta, I mean, I should know what I'm doing, right? Here we go. 30, 26, <laughs> three, and four, and one and two. Extend. Extend. Up. Extend.
guys, I gotta be better than that. Let's try it one more time. Come on, St. Norris. Bring it. Bring it. I'm not bringing it. Like, Elise always says to me, the violas are bringing it today. Is that what she says? Or we're, we carried it. I'm not carrying it. Karina, get it good, right? Here we go. Three and 26. Go. One. <laughs> did the best I could you guys was it any good questionable just gonna say like it is it was questionable yep this is good for me it's good for me I feel like I'm talking to myself talking myself through this but you know I know you're watching you know Hawken I know you're watching. If I knew you eighth graders at Colors, or I mean at Oakland, oh, I could call you out. I should look at the, I, you know what I should do? I should look at the seating chart from last year's seventh grade field trip. That would be fun. I could pick on a few of you guys over there. Hmm. Anyway, that's it. It's getting to be a long one, right? You're done. I'm done. Let's call it. Bye.